Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from It's Mobile. We're at BlackBerry World 2011, taking a look at some new BlackBerry in-car systems in the Jaguar. To help us with the tour is Peter. How's it going, Peter? Hey, how you doing? Good. So what we've got today is we've got a new feature that we've been working on with uh, with the Rim guys and Real VNC and Denso. It's a new feature that we've got in our Jaguar. It's called Connect and View. And basically, what we're doing is taking smartphone connectivity to the next level. And you can connect your smartphone via the USB connector in the, uh, the center console panel. It recharges your smartphone and it also enables you to display your smartphone on our 18-inch touchscreen integrated display. It also then enables you to control your device from our actual smartphone. The key thing about this is it allows you to use the UI that you're familiar to on your, Black, um, your BlackBerry device. Okay, so. The device that you use all the time, you know the UI, as soon as you get in the vehicle, you get how it works. You don't have to relearn any new UI or any new functionality. Okay? So for example, I just showed you you've got the contacts address book. If you, you've got the person's contact, you can call that up. You can get the icon or the photo of the person that you have on there as well. Okay? You can obviously go through and scroll through some of the applications. So if I just bring up all the apps, you can go through. So one example I'll show you, there's a navigation app that we've, uh, we've got from Telenav, and we can actually display that because we've approved that application. Okay. One thing that we uh, are cautious of, not all applications we actually want to display when the vehicle is in motion. Okay. So we will be blocking certain applications. So for example, if you wanted to do text messaging, we won't allow that on the move, mm. obviously, because it's a driver distraction. So we have the control of that because we've, we've obviously got all the vehicle signals to do that. One of the most powerful things is on your BlackBerry device, if you've got music, you can play the music off your device, but you're using the actual UI off the actual the uh, smartphone. Okay, so you've got album art. You can use the integrated panels to obviously change the tracks and go through that. So that that, that, that works with the steering wheel too. That will, yeah. If you have the ignition on, it will work with the steering wheel as well. So you know the track up, track down functionality fully works. It then gives you the ability to interact with the UI that, again, the smartphone's got. So you can actually select the songs you want and obviously play those tracks as you wish, as well as using the really cool UI to uh, adjust the tracks that you want. Very okay. cool. So then you get the audio out of our premium Bowser Wilkins audio system. Okay. So, in a nutshell, it is displaying the image of your smartphone, it does add the extra control, but this platform also enables us to work with app developers, and if an app developer has an app that is actually useful to the driving aid, we will work with them, and then we may wish to obviously enable the app when the vehicle is in motion. I'll give one example, say if somebody wants to develop a parking app, it's useful, as long as it's not distracting, we can approve that app and get that in the vehicle via the smartphone. Very cool. So, uh, which car models is this going to be available in? Okay, so at the moment, this is the uh, the first announcement of this technology outside of uh, Jaguar Land Rover. So this is um, the first time it goes to press. This technology will be available in Jaguar products from late 2012. So it will go production in late 2012. Excellent. Thank you very much, Peter. You're welcome.